Hey YouTube, this is just called Stoop, coming with another tutorial about how to do some uh, realistic looking brick walls, and um, yeah, have a lot of fun with it. So just before we get started, I just want to say go check out my blog at scarchclothing.blogspot.com. And I'm going to be going kind of fast, but if you have any questions, uh, just message me and I'll be sure to um, answer them for you. And so right now, <coughs> we want to select the foreground color of, let's see here, 5C4110. And we'll just get this color, then we'll get our paint bucket tool and just paint that right in there. And then we're going to go filter, um, texture, texturizer. And then we're going to go sandstone, 100% relief 4, and then light from top left. And so that's pretty much what we want right there. Oh, and by the way, my file size is um, 600 by 400. So if you want to do that. And then we're going to go create new fill adjustment layer. And then we're going to go solid color. And then this color that we're going to use is going to be 8B, 7B, 5A. Cool. And then click OK. And then we're going to go on this, we're going to go filter, render, clouds. On the mask, make sure you have the mask selected. So that looks kind of cool right there, kind of looks like a fogging graveyard or something. And then we're going to go filter, um, pixelate, mesotint, mesotint. And then we're going to go, make sure you have core stock selected on the type. And then click OK. Alright, so it looks, you know, not too bad. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to add layer style. This is the little function button right here. So we're going to click that function button and then we're going to go bevel and emboss. And then the technique or the style is going to be outer bevel. And then the technique is going to be chisel hard. And then we're going to bring this up to six right here, the size. And then every, everything else looks pretty good. We'll just keep it how it is. And then, so that's pretty much what it should look like. And now we're going to, um, go at the bottom right here and we're going to go um, the adjustment adjustment uh, layer and then we're going to click solid color and then we're going to go we're going to go D oops D F C 1 8 4 so we have that color we have that color right now <clears throat> and so we're going to select this layer mask and then we're going to go filter render clouds so it looks kind of cool right there, and then we're going to go filter, render, uh, my mistake, F filter, pixelate, mesotint again, and then make sure you have core stop selected and click OK. Cool. So that's kind of what it looks like. And then we're going to add a layer style again, and so come over here, and then select bevel and emboss, and then the technique is going to be, oop, the technique is going to be chisel hard, the... It's and it's going to be inner bevel. The size, of the depth is going to be one hundred percent. Size is going to be zero, and then, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to select this guy right here. Select that one. I'm not really sure what to call that. And then make sure this is overlay for the highlight mode, and then linear burn for the shadow mode. And then linear burn for the shadow mode, and yeah, looks about right. And then click OK. Um, and then, oops, my mistake, we just want to come back here to our, and then we want to go to the sa uh, satin and click right there. And then, with that, it's going to be multiply 50%, and yeah, oh, and then we want to change the contour to right around right there. That looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Cool. And then we want to change the blending mode of this layer that we just made to soft light. Cool. That looks, that, that looks getting a lot better right there. And so uh, we just created the texture that we're going to use for the wall. And so uh, after that, we're going to select this top layer and then just make a new layer on top of that. And then we're going to click Control, Alt, Shift, E, so like everything. And then that's just going to um, make everything below it. It's just going to make, it's going to combine, it's going to merge all the layers below it and just make it one on top. And so. We're going to name this Wall Background. Cool. Doesn't look too bad. And then uh, next we're going to duplicate this layer. So just bring it and drag it down right here. Sounds pretty good. And then 
and then we're going to double click this right here and we're going to name it texture the new one that we just made and then we're going to click on the layer right in front of it to make it invisible cool and then so now we're going to make the, make the wall background an active layer and then create do fill new adjustment layer icon right here and we're going to do brightness and contrast and then we're going to do the value of negative 80 for this brightness here and negative 50 for the contrast right there cool that's about right and then click OK and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the thumbnail for the texture right here and then we're going to click the eye to see it it's going to be right there and then we're going to add the layer mask button and so we're going to do the layer mask right there and then we're going to hold down the alt key and click once on the mask thumbnail so we can see it and so it's just going to be it's just going to be white right now because we haven't done anything to it and now we're going to do the pencil tool come over here and then we're going to click right over here and we're going to make our diameter 8 good and then the opacity 100 and yeah doesn't look too bad and then make sure the foreground color is black and then what we're going to do is we are going to start over here and then you can click right here and then let go and then hold shift and then click over here and then you get oh actually no we won't do that we'll just click we'll, oops we'll get rid of that and then we'll have our pencil tool and we'll just click and hold and drag across click hold drag oops and then you want to like you kind of want to let go so click again and then drag across and then click again drag across click again drag across and see even if I go over here to the side it'll still just go straight down because I'm holding shift cool and so we just did that and that's looking pretty good and then what we'll do is edges are all pretty straight and then we're going to have this mask selected and we're going to go filter noise and then median and then we're going to have this radius be right around six percent or six pixels and so you can see it just adds these curved edges to these sides which is pretty much what we want exactly and then just click OK and then the purpose of this is to give the stones like rounded corners and so now click on the thumb wall, uh, thumbnail of the texture and you can see here that um, you can already see the outline of the bricks getting getting ready to come come uh, come out and so next we're going to um, go to the add layer style icon and then we're going to click drop shadow and then the drop shadow the opacity I want at 50 percent 55 percent and then the depth to be 8 and then the size to be 0 and yep looks pretty good and then you know, uh, then we'll go over here oh my mistake we'll continue off and we'll go inner shadow and that um, we'll have this at 16 percent and then this at 15 the distance at 15 and then this at, uh, the angle at negative 41 we're not going to use global light and yeah looks pretty good so we'll just do that and then we'll go oh one more you double click the, just the effects and then go bevel and, embo and emboss and then we'll come down and we'll go depth 70 percent and then size 10 and then 120 for the angle and then we want to switch this to overlay right here and make sure we have white selected which we do and then shadow mode is multiplying 75% um, yep that looks pretty good and then we'll click OK oh one more one more thing to the blending options just in the, just in the open area right here we're gonna go we want to unclick this transparent shape layers right there and then yep that doesn't look too bad and we'll just click OK and then yeah alright so that's pretty much it for right now and then just come back to part 2 and we'll continue thanks